Megan Glowing says her friend I was ready to have this new baby. This baby solidifies that they are creating roots here in the States, a friend tells in this week. In the weeks leading up to their daughter's arrival, Megan Markel couldn't wait to meet her baby girl. She has been in good spirits and absolutely glowing, a friend tells. She was just ready to have this baby. The Duchess of Sussex kept up a busy pace, running errands and shopping in preparation for baby Lilibet Diana, who was born on the 4th of June. She also started two-year-old Archie in a morning program at a preschool a few days a week. He is big enough that he is now starting to have his own life too, a source tells. He enjoys preschool and outdoor activities. The past few months have also been filled with immense gratitude after the pain of experiencing a miscarriage last summer. Megan described the unbearable grief she and Harry felt in a searingly honest essay in the New York Times in November. As they shared their heartache, they also embraced the joy that they were expecting again. They just took it one day at a time, they wanted to have this moment for themselves, the friends. Life in coastal Montecito where Meghan and Prince Harry moved into a nine-bedroom home in July, is very quiet and perfect for them, adds the source. They are close to the beach, which they enjoy, and they also have friends in the neighborhood that they spend time with. They spend a lot of time at home with Archie but have also managed to get a few date nights in as well, the source says. This feels like their first proper home together, because they were able to find a house that they both love. It's nice to see them enjoy life. The couple's routine now includes baby Lily, who has filled their home with even more joy. They are so happy, the friend says. This baby solidifies that they are creating roots here in the States. It's like a clean slate, almost like a new beginning. The regal set love flame grilled food just like us. Brits love a good old barbecue on a summer's afternoon sausages, salad and plenty of vino with friends in the garden. There's something so relaxing about standing around a smoking fire chatting to mates whilst slowly cooking one's lunch or dinner. I don't know about you, but the first BBQ of the summer is a big occasion in our house. We can just imagine Prince Charles and Prince William as head grillers discussing the world's events as they turn over the chops. Or perhaps and we hope this is so Her Majesty the Queen is rather nifty with the tongs and cooks a mean burger. We're not surprised that down-to-earth Harry is at hand with the old barbecue tongs. At a charity barbecue at Kensington Palace a few years back, he helped grill the meat as he chatted to sports stars and their families. We can just imagine the prince cooking supper on the outdoor grill at his Los Angeles home with wife Meghan, son Archie and daughter Lilibet. We wonder if Meghan fights her husband Prince Harry for control of the barbecue? Yes, the Duchess knows how to grill and has previously shared a photo of herself on her now terminated Instagram page cooking al fresco. Lunch of fish tacos and al brino, a white wine, cooked in my backyard on my ceramic grill, wrote the royal. The queen's husband was a secret barbecue king. According to Bal Morals housekeeper Sheena Stewart. And the royal couple like to host relaxing gatherings for friends and family at their Scottish home. The monarch's former chef Darren McGrady previously told Marie Claire of the late Philip's love of cooking food on the barbecue. Philip would cook out on the grill, he said. He'd come down to the kitchens and discuss what food we'd have, do we have any salmon that any of the family have caught? The Queen's been picking strawberries with Princess Margaret, let's have those for dinner. Prince Harry shared a sweet statement after his grandfather's death, saying. He will be remembered as the longest reigning consort to the monarch a decorated serviceman, a prince and a duke. But to me, like many of you who have lost a loved one or grandparent over the pain of this past year, he was my grandpa, master of the barbecue, legend of banter, and cheeky right till the end. The Duke of Cambridge knows how to barbecue too. On day two of his visit to New Zealand, William downed an apron and did a spot of grilling with the country's then Prime Minister John Key. Thank you for watching. If you like our video, would you please help us like, share and subscribe our channel. Wish you happy to see our videos, thank you very much.